Hi, I'm Yvette Walker, Outlook Editor for 2015, and we have here in the studio with us Lance McDaniel, who's the Executive Director for Dead Center Film Festival. Thank you so much for coming today. Thank you for having me, Yvette. It's great to be here. Well, thank you. Well, Lance is one of the many people that we've talked to in our Outlook edition, which publishes this Sunday, and this year is the creativity issue. And so, of course, you were the perfect person to talk to well, you. because you use that so much in your work. Can you talk, I mean, and, but that's a big, it's a big topic, just creativity. What is creativity? Right. Can you talk a little bit about, from your perspective, how you try to tap in the, into that for your work, for all the films that you've been involved in? Well, yes. Well, so I am, so I've been in the film industry here in Oklahoma for the, for the entire 10 years that I've been back. And, um, and, and obviously it's a very creative industry and what, what I find fascinating about the film industry is, is it is a perfect marriage of creativity and business yes. because unlike a lot of art forms, and I mean every art form has a, a business component, but it is, it is a very commercial venture compared to like painting or, or ballet or poetry or something like that. Like as an art form, it only exists if people pay you to do it. You know, and so, um, and so I, I have found that fun. Now with Dead Center, we do a rural education program where we go to about 30 high schools a fall. And, um, and at first we were trying to teach them how to make movies. And then we realized what we really need to do is teach them how to think creatively because the creativity of thinking is something that will stay with you no matter what job you have, whether you're, whether you're in the postal service or whether you're a you know, construction worker. There are creative, you know, being able to think creatively and find solutions that are not obvious, I think is a skill that we all need. And so we really, we really had to to broaden our view of creativity to start to stop thinking about a, of creativity in the arts but rather creativity in the mind that allows you to, to, to approach any problem as a different type of problem solver. Right, right. And you know you certainly have taken that skill and, and those ideas you know to the big time. I mean you've been involved in some pretty big movies. Um, Crazy Enough with Chris Kattan. Yes, uh -huh. And then also the movie I think everybody will, will remember, A Million Dollar Baby. Yes. Um, you know you're assisting there and in, in different roles, of course, in right. different various ways, but you know, bringing both the creativity side and the business savvy, as you said, right. because you know, you got to make money for people to want to put put that out. Well, exactly. And one thing that was interesting about Million Dollar Baby, and obviously that was only the second movie I'd ever worked on, and it won the Oscar. And my boss, Albert S. Ruddy, won the Oscar, and it was a super exciting. Um, project to be a part of, but what I still remember about it, because I've worked on 13 movies since then, is that it was the most professional, the quietest, the most organized project I've ever been a part of, and part of the reason that Clint Eastwood is known for being such a great director is because he creates this environment that is so so professional that when the actors get there, they're not hearing people arguing, they're not, like, like it becomes a very safe and creative place for them to make decisions as an actor mm -hmm. and to create these interesting characters. And so, um, so I feel like I learned a lot about that because a lot of people think of creativity as no rules and out of the box and all that stuff. The reality is the more organized you are leading into a creative project, the more likely you're going to be hi hyper creative when you're starting to execute that project because you're not having to worry about like, oh, do we have paper? Are there pens? You know, do we get film? I mean, all the different things that, that if you're not thinking in a really focused way can get in the way of your creativity can be solved in the pre-production process allowing, and so I feel like it, it was a good lesson for me to learn like, hey, don't just fly on by the seat of your pants. Be be super organized so that when you get on set, you're able to be actually really creative and you're not just doing constant problem solving. Mm -hmm. And of course, that's going, that atmosphere is going to, as you say, uh, enhance the, just the creativity on set, but also making those sound business decisions. Right. Now, the atmosphere we have here in Oklahoma City, making movies here in Oklahoma City, which right. is you know, amazing, of uh -huh. course. Um, you know, you've got, you probably have to do some things a little differently. Right. Um, scouting locations is going to be a little different than if you were in a big you know, right. studio right. in LA. Uh, so how do you go about that? How do you go, and also helping bring business here? Right, well, um, what has been, uh, what has been great about working in film in Oklahoma is that the same can-do attitude that really kind of fuels the entire society here is is especially true in film in that when you go into a town, so when we go to Guthrie, Guthrie is like, great, here's our fire chief, here's the police chief, here's the chamber of commerce, how can we help you do your business here in Guthrie? And then you go to, you know, Cordell, same thing. You go up to Ponca City, same thing. And so you're surrounded by these not only people, but towns and communities that want to support you as a filmmaker. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't mean that you get everything for free, but it just means that people are actually excited to have you there. And as a creative, like when you're building, when you spend two years raising money for a project, and that's what it takes to make a movie, um, 
you want people to believe in you. You want to be by, surrounded by people that are excited about the project. And so working in Oklahoma has been awesome because almost everywhere you turn from the from the wonderful, you know, we have an Oklahoma Film and Music office that is awesome, that Tavisovsky leads. And, um, and from the help you get from there, and they help you scout locations. And that's why a lot of these movies come here is because when you call the Oklahoma Film and Music office, they're going to help you find locations, crew. Like, they're, they're going to make you want to do business here in Oklahoma. And I think that film is just kind of a microcosm of that. I think we we treat all industries like that, from Boeing to Dell to all these great companies that have moved in here. A lot of it has to do with we're going. To, we want to. We want to invite you in here to create jobs, but also to create a, a better community for us. And so I think that it, that um, I have found Oklahoma to be almost all upside mm -hmm. on the film on, on making movies. Um, the, the downside is is you really do need name actors in order to help distribute your movie. And a lot of times, and, and I think we have the best actors I've ever worked with here in Oklahoma. But not all of them are, are household names, and so right. they. They're not going to help you sell your movie, but on every movie I've worked on, we usually have one or two famous people, and then everyone else is a local actor, and they're great, and they're harder working, easier to work with, so it's just it's a really fun environment to make movies. Now, Dead Center is just a couple months away. Yes. I know you've been working so hard on it. Uh -huh. um, tell us some of the... I don't know what you can reveal, but some of the surprises. Well, or some I'll, of the well I'll tell you uh, some of the most exciting things going on. And so this is our 15th anniversary. So if we've been do this is um, we started in 2001, and we grew from a from a 50 person one night screening into 25,000 people watching 100 movies over five days. And so um, we had more submissions this year than ever before. We had well over a thousand people submit, and we only get to pick a hundred. And so um, and so I think some of the some of the exciting things are we we really beefed up our education at the festival in that we're going to do a free conference for film and video teachers around the state, a free conference for high school students around the state called Dead Center University. And then this year, we're actually adding a component where um, if you want to start your own film festival, you can come for free to ours and take two days worth of seminars about how do you find funding? How do you build an audience? How do you wow. work with your chamber of commerce? How do you get filmmakers to find out about you? Because now that we've gotten pretty big, we still want every Oklahoma filmmaker to have a great experience showing their first film. And not all those films, unfortunately, are going to be showing at ours. And so we're trying to support a statewide network of film festivals so that there's always the, so that no matter, what, no matter what level of filmmaker you are there's a place in Oklahoma that can really highlight your film and draw attention to you as a filmmaker you know because when I was applying to Dead Center um, in 2005 was my first film and I, um, I I think I was they picked 100 and 300 applied so you had a one in three chance yes. well now it's one in ten and so it's just a lot harder to get in than it used to be when I was having my first films and so we want to make sure that Oklahoma creates an, a network of festivals to celebrate film across the state you know, and, and yeah, no, that yeah. I, I think you'll get a lot of submissions for you know just to come to those to right. those um, educational aspects of uh -huh. it. And then our big films. Yes. So we so we've got so we've got some super exciting films, and I was warned not to to re tell any, although I want to. <laughs> um, um, the we will announce on the thirtieth of, of April our entire schedule, and, and the things that are most exciting to me. There's a few things. One is. Um, even though we got a thousand movies, four of our twelve narrative features in competition are from Oklahoma filmmakers, and four of our of our documentary features are from Oklahoma, and that is great because we get tons of submissions from Sundance now, and so we're going and and seeing the best films in America and across the world apply to us because they've started as our reputation is built, they've heard of us, and so it is so exciting for me that we still have great work coming out of Oklahoma and a lot of great Oklahoma filmmakers, some of which will be debuting features for the first time, and so it's a very exciting. So I'm very excited about that um, we do have um well, yeah, we have some exciting we have some exciting movies. Um, I will tell you one one that one that I'm very excited just, about. Just one, just one. I'll tell you two that I'm excited okay. about. Okay. Um, one is Gloria, and it is a Spanish language movie about Gloria Trevi, and she is considered the Mexican Madonna. And um, and the reason I'm excited about that is because we had a really successful Spanish language film festival this fall called Cine Latino, mm -hmm. um, that we did in conjunction with Tango PR and and um, Rogelio Amedia, who's a Dead Center filmmaker. And so we really wanted to get a good Spanish language film, and that is and it's awesome. And we saw that at South by Southwest. And then we also have a movie um, called The Black Panthers, and it is about the history of the Black Panthers, and it is stunning. And we saw it at um, Sundance. It's it is it's intense, but it's awesome, and it is a great. And we also threw uh, you know, helped throw a festival called the Black History Month Film Festival. Yes, and I went so, to that. Yes, which was awesome. And so our goal was to, to you know to, to find a movie that would work in conjunction with them. And so we're very excited about it. And it, and it's actually just a brilliant look at, at that organization and and all the all the good and bad. And, and it's um, so I'm very excited about those because we worked hard to try to to try to develop new festivals this year. And so to be able to find movies that'll help us you know collaborate with them at our own festival. I think will be really exciting. Well, excellent. Well,
well, give us the dates for the, this it's, It is June 11 through 14, mm -hmm. and you can go, you can register for passes now online, and um, and the way it works is if you buy an all-access pass, they get you into every, um, that it gives you access to every film and every party over the five days, and then, or you can buy individual tickets at the theater, um, and those passes you can buy online at deadcenterfilm.org. Well, thank you so much for coming thank to you. the studio today and telling us a little bit about Dead Center and creativity in Oklahoma. Great. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank Thanks you. so much. Uh -huh. And Outlook will come out this Sunday, April 26th, and you can look online at newsok.com slash Outlook to see accompanying video.